hello friends today in this tutorial i'll be showing you that how to export a html table to a pdf document and for this purpose we will not be using jspdf auto table library so we will be doing it inside jspdf only and we will be using from html method so you will see this is the html table here you will see three columns and three rows out there so there is a save button out there if i click this button the pdf file will be downloaded as your attachment if i open this file you will see this table which is embedded inside the pdf document so this is the application we will be building here simply we will be exporting the html table to a pdf document thereby converting html to pdf using jspdf library so if you want to get all the source code regarding this application you can go to the video description link so here i have written a complete blog post showing detailed step by step instruction on how to do this alongside with screenshot so go to the video description link to download all the source code so now let's get started by building this application so open your text editor i am using visual studio code text editor so here just make an index.html file and we can just change the title that is jspdf export html table to pdf document so here first of all guys we need to import the cdn for jspdf so simply copy this from my blog post paste the cdn you can also search the cdn on online simply search jspdf cdn and you can just include this so after doing this we will have a simple table here so we will have a table we will have a heading that uh, after this heading we will have a table tag and inside this we will have the table head and we will inside this we will have three headings name age and country so these are the three rows will which we will have if you open this you will see the these are the three columns out there and now in order to enter the rows we have the table body tag table row and you can provide the values here so the second row so now if you refresh it you will see two rows will be inserted here you will see now let me have a simple button after this table in order to export this so we will say export to pdf document so we will be give it a id or button here like this so now we will write the custom javascript so here we will get the reference to the button by document dot get element by id So now we can add an event listener. So when we click this button, we need to execute a function which will be export PDF. So we can make this function export PDF. So inside this, we will export this to a PDF document. The before that, we need to declare this special variable which is special element handlers. And we need to initialize it to the object here, which will be no dash export. And this is a class basically dot no dot export. And this contains a callback function. And inside this, this holds the actual element that needs to be converted. And the second argument is renderer. And this basically needs to return true. That's it. So this you need to write here. Basically, this uh, makes this uh, converts this HTML table to the PDF document. So we need to write this beforehand. And now we can make a new JS PDF document. So we can initialize doc new JS PDF, and this will be a simple. You here you can provide the dimensions. This is the sizes this is a4 size sheet here of the pdf document 
So after initializing it, we can provide the source parameter. So we can get this using document dot get element by ID. So simply here you just need to give it the ID for which you need to convert this. So I will give this table the ID of table. That's it. So now we are successfully just getting this table using its ID. So in order to get its full element, we will use the inner HTML property. After getting this, we will provide the margins. This will be an array. We will provide the top margin to 10, bottom to also 10, left to also 10, and I will provide the width of the table to 595. And lastly, guys, we need to use our from HTML method in order to convert the HTML to the PDF document. So this contains this method from HTML. And here you need to provide the source. Source will be equal to the source that we have there. Put a comma. So this is the source we are passing here. Just pass the source like this. The second parameter we will have the margin. Margins dot left. Put a comma and then we will pass the margin from the top position. And then we will have a simple array. Oh sorry, object. Inside this the width property will be equal to margins dot width. And the second property, which is element handlers, this will be equal to the property which we have initialized at the very top here special element handlers. So this is equal to that. And lastly, there is a callback function which convert this to a PDF. It has its dispose parameter in the argument. And we need to simply save the PDF document by using save method. So we will say doc.save. So here you can just provide the file name which will be output.pdf. And also put a comma. This is a callback. So here we need to pass the margins. That's it. Sorry, let me just do this. So now it is complete. The application is complete. So now if I open this, export it, you will see the PDF file will be downloaded. And it has converted this table. You can see that it has converted this to a table, but it hasn't got the styling. So let me see what we have missed here. So let me again copy paste this code here. So this is table here, we are given this ID table. Let me copy paste this full here. So sometimes error can take place. So that is why I'm telling you to go to the video description link. If you download this, you will see this is a table which is converted here to a PDF document. And we haven't used the JS PDF auto table library. So this is done purely in JS PDF library. So basically we are taking this uh, HTML and we are converting to a, the PDF document by using this from HTML method.
we are providing the margin from the left and the top position and lastly we are saving it with a custom PDF file name so in this easy way you can convert any sort of table to PDF document using JS PDF library and for this we are not using JS auto table library so thanks so much for watching this video and please hit the like button subscribe the channel and I will be seeing you in next video